talk to you about dating and acne. I talk to you about societal standards, about my personal experiences, and it's a huge problem for a lot of people, including myself. There's a lot of stigma around acne and dating, and we'll start off with the basics. Just about everyone knows and kind of universally agrees that beauty comes from the inside, and that what makes someone beautiful isn't necessarily how they look. And while that is very true, a lot of actions that happen in the dating world are opposite to that. For instance, if you sit down and you see two people across from you in a coffee shop, the one that you personally find more attractive is probably the one that you're going to want to speak to first. Now, whereas when it comes to dating, things like intelligence, things like previous histories and hobbies, um, that is really what matters and what's going to create a lasting relationship. But when it comes to dating, those first impressions are what starts a lasting building foundation. So when it comes to those first impressions, what do you have other than your physical appearance, especially if you're not talking to someone? Now when it comes to the dating space, why am I looking over there? Like what's over there? It's a wall. I'm talking to you. Why wall? Why? When it comes to online dating or like app dating, I am not super well versed in app dating, but I'm pretty sure that some of the apps don't even let you like read a bio. It's literally like, do you like this person's photo? And that can create a lot of discrepancies, especially when it comes to Photoshop and makeup. And when it comes to it, that's what I also want to discuss is makeup. Is makeup a lie? Is makeup something that you should use to enhance your appearance and kind of get an edge up? Or is it a complete lie that's going to lead you into turmoil and disaster and a bad relationship that happened for the wrong physical reasons? Um, you know, I've, well, I posted my acne video like six years ago when I finally took off all of my makeup for literally the first time and showed the world what my skin looked like and how I was able to cover it up. And that video it was one of the hardest things to do, but one of the most amazing things because of who it led me to and the journey that it put me on. But at the same time, still one of the hardest things for me today is reading comments on that video. And even for 99 good comments, there's gonna be one that's negative. And there was one comment that's always stuck out to me. And it says, oh my God, like go to home with a 10, wake up with a two. People were saying, you know, take your swimming on the first date. This is why makeup should be illegal, um, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, as a human being, that doesn't make me feel very good or very validated. And I'm glad that now I'm able to look outside of people's comments and outside of relationships for validation. There was a time that I dated only for validation, which is terrible, but it is what it is. Like, let's be honest. A lot of people are saying that like makeup is a lie and even as I kind of navigate the world it's like okay are these people lying it's perfectly acceptable to wear makeup but who has an edge who doesn't what does your makeup say about you and then if you do start getting into a relationship when do you take that makeup off when is it safe to take that makeup off in front of that other person and what will they think of you and that's also something I really want to break down because especially when I was going through my acne at its worst um, I had panic attacks, like in a car, <laughs> because I thought someone in the other lane was looking at me at a stoplight. And now that I think back about that, like that's so <laughs> ridiculous, and like I must have had an undiagnosed anxiety or panic disorder. Um, like even right now, like you know that feeling when you step off a set of stairs and you miss a step and you have like that fear of falling? That's what a panic attack feels like, only it doesn't stop. And sometimes you think you're gonna die, it's irrational, but whatever. Um, I used to have that because of my physical appearance and my acne was bad. No lie, my acne was bad, but I probably thought it was worse in my head than anyone else does. Did. Still do. <laughs> and I think that, shut up phone, I think that when it comes to anyone who has acne, because we are our own worst critics and because we see ourselves every day, we judge ourselves the hardest. And you know that's true. You know that you judge yourself way more than anyone else, when in reality you know yourself better than anyone else and you know all of your amazing, beautiful qualities that you shouldn't judge yourself on. But such is the way of human nature, am I right? And when it comes to that, you know, dating is terrifying. You don't even want to go in the house without makeup. How are you supposed to have a conversation with somebody, especially somebody that you like, and then you're putting your feelings out on the line, just kind of like waiting to be accepted or rejected, and all of your insecurities just kind of bubble up inside of you until you become a big volcano of self-doubt. <laughs> Isn't it great? <laughs> but when it comes to dating with acne, 
I have always worn makeup on dates and when I meet people, you know, I have to be honest, there are times that people have come up to me when I'm not wearing makeup now and when I had acne. Um, not at its worst because I never went out without makeup when my acne was at its worst. But when my acne was moderate to severe and recently, I go out and people are like, hey, can I give you my number? Or hey, I love your energy. and. I, granted, I am the kind of person who will pop lock and drop it like in a parking lot just because I hear my favorite song on somebody's radio who's passing by. So I'm a little bit strange and um, a little bit eccentric. But something I've noticed is that people do not judge me the way I judge myself. And I think that is very true for every other person. When I look at someone, I don't even notice if they have acne all the time. I'm looking at their eyes, I'm looking at their smile, and how they're judging me and how we're interacting. And when it comes to dating, unfortunately, I feel like a lot more pressure is put on physical appearance. But I don't think that that matters. Now, it's pretty much understood and accepted that when you love someone, their flaws, you know, love is blind. Their flaws aren't as big of a problem. And that is definitely true. If someone truly loves you, your physical appearance does not matter at all. And in general, it should not matter at all because you are beautiful the way you are. And this is where I'm going to say stuff that's controversial. Again, this is just stream of thought. Um, just kind of what's flowing through my mind. but. We are beautiful the way we are. We are gorgeous the way we are. We don't need makeup to be pretty. But when it comes to dating, how come so much of that is based off of physical appearance? Does makeup make us prettier? I'm doing an Instagram giveaway right now and how you enter is answering the question, how do you define beauty? And so many people have responded that beauty is from the inside. So we know that beauty is from the inside. So many people have said, like, if a girl is super made up and beautiful but has an ugly personality, she's an ugly person. If someone doesn't have perfect makeup or hair or nails, but they're kind and generous and loving and make you smile, then they are a gorgeous person, which is so true. And it's amazing that almost every single person out of the how many hundreds of people that commented feel the same way. The only thing is that how can you get to know someone's personality, if their personality and if their heart is ugly or pretty, until you get to know them? And then before you actually know them and get to find that out, all you see is their physical. And when you look at the history of makeup, why did makeup start? It was to make people look more youthful. It was to make people look like they had clear skin, which promoted health. It made people have brighter eyes. Makeup was there to make cheeks look rosier, which shows that a woman is ovulating. And I guess in primal times, that was really important. But you know, lipstick, it was created to make us look alluring. And I actually did a study back in 2012 which is a very sad study. It, it was in Prague for the EADV, which is a huge dermatology conference, and I spoke to doctors. And we looked at this study that had a whole bunch of images, and some of them were of the same person photoshopped with and without acne. And a panel of people, double-blind study, were asked, like, how smart do you think this person is? How funny do you think they are? How rich do you think they are? How personable do they think you they are? They are? How educated do you think they are? And across the board. The photos of people who had acne were seen as less intelligent, less hygienic, less friendly. Um, and that hurt me so bad, especially as I was going through acne. And it still hurts me because even though I know and even though we know that this goodness perpetuates from within, as of 2012, as of that study, people still largely associated acne with those things. And it's like, <laughs> For those of us with acne, like, what are we supposed to do? And is it really lying to the world or is it giving us a fair advantage? Because when is makeup a lie? If you're covering something, but like, I just, I don't know, these are the societal problems of the world. And I don't think it's bad to wear makeup at all. I think if somebody wants to, if it makes them feel more confident until they can find confidence without makeup, go for it. That's exactly what I did. I masked myself every single day because I could not walk out of the house without having a panic attack and literally crying. And like, <laughs> that was just so upsetting to me. And then, when I was able to go out and with makeup, I was able to have friends and have hobbies. That's when I realized that I'm Cassandra because of these things that I do, not because of what my face says about me. And it's like, and that's how I learned to love myself without makeup is because I didn't realize, I didn't 
I realized that I didn't need it in order to feel beautiful. It was who I was and the things I was doing and the people I was surrounded by. And it took a lot to learn. And if makeup can get someone to that point as a stepping stone, like how is there any negativity in that? If anything, it's the other person's fault for saying, oh my god, go home with a 10, wake up with a 2. That's why there's even this discrepancy is because we have people making comments like that and making us feel insecure about the way that we look when we were built to be beautiful just the way we are. And body image plays into this a ton as well. And I'm sure other things that I haven't personally, that I can sympathize with but I can't empathize with as far as racial issues or gender issues, which I know are very difficult and I, I wish that I could understand fully. Um, and although I can try, I'm, I'm not in those shoes. I can try to walk in them, but I'm not actually in them. So how could I really know? And for someone who doesn't have acne, I hope that this gives you a little bit of, um, you know, information or something that you can use to sympathize to someone who does have acne. Because if you don't have acne and you're dating someone who does, like, even if you tell them they're beautiful, they won't always believe it. <laughs> that is so sad, but like, it's true. And there was someone that I dated, and at the time, um, I was going through a lot. Again, I was very insecure. I was dating for the wrong reasons, trying to find validation. But that person had told me, I think acne is disgusting. I think it's gross. And now that I'm dating you, I think it's all right. It doesn't bother me. And that was a huge compliment. It was also kind of an insult because it's like, oh, I don't bother you? Like, is that the least I can do? But um, when somebody truly loves you, they're kind of blind to all those other things. And even if it was something that they found disgusting before, they may accept it. And that's what happened there. And of course, that relationship was bad for all the wrong reasons. He was just an ass in general um, for a couple different reasons. Um, but it is what it is, and I've learned a lot from that. And then I've dated other people who've had no acne, like not a single pimple in their entire life. And then this person went on medication, which gave them acne, and they were freaking out and asking me what to do, and I was like, you have two pimples. Like, you have two pimples. They were asking me what makeup they could use to cover it up. I'm like, you have two pimples. That's nothing. Um, but after that, like, that person could sympathize with me because they were like, oh my god, is this, like, how you feel? But this was all over your face and your chest and your back and still is. <sighs> it's overwhelming. And thank goodness the people that I have dated have completely loved me with and without makeup. But like I said, in some instances, especially those instances that I was dating for the wrong reasons, people did judge. So when it comes to dating with acne, should you wear makeup? Should you not? Um... I feel like confidence is always king, and I know that that sounds really cliche and is probably overstated, but like if you're confident and if you know who you are, then it doesn't matter. And it shouldn't matter to anyone else because they will see you walk into the room like you have a crown on your head. You are a pineapple. You wear a crown on your head and you are sweet on the inside. No, but really. And people will gravitate to that. But at the same time, if you're not at that place where you can't find your biggest, best self without a little help from concealer, use the confidence in that concealer until you can. And there is no problem with that. And no one should tell you otherwise. Especially if you use makeup as an art, as a creative release, um, as opposed to a chore. Just go for it. No matter what your reasoning is, if you have a reason, that's enough. You don't need reasons not to. If you have a reason, that's good enough. You know what I mean? And I can say that because I used to use makeup as a chore. Now I use it a little bit more artistically, but I still feel like I have to put on makeup every now and again for certain meetings or things like that. And when it comes to dating, that's what it is. So then when you're dating, when should you take off your makeup? After how many dates? I mean, I guess it depends on how soon or fast things are progressing. But at the same time, if, you, if you're always going out to like movies or dinners, wear makeup like every time fine but if you're hanging out at each other's houses or going on a hike or going exercising or watching a movie together or doing something more intimate like that like people normally wear makeup when they go out to dinner or a movie in like a theater but people when they go over to each other's house yeah they wear sweatpants they tie up their hair they don't wear makeup when they go on a hike you don't wear makeup 
follow those same standards. If you are the person who would not wear makeup to dinner, do not wear makeup on that date. And it's as simple as that. And like I said, once that person gets to know your personality, it literally will not matter. It could totally change their mindset on acne if they had one in the first place because we're so obsessed looking at ourselves, we don't even notice the flaws of other people. And hello, my flaws, my acne, this gigantic pimple on my shoulder is literally just a unicorn kiss. And I am proud of that. <laughs> So guys, that is my extreme of consciousness on dating and acne, and I really want to talk to you about this. So if you could talk to me in the comments, tell me your experience, tell me what you think. Like, is it bad? Is it good? When do you wear makeup? When do you not? Should you never wear makeup on a date? Should you always wear makeup just to keep up with the par, like keep up with the Joneses? Ugh, societal issues. <sighs> Anyways, I love you guys. I hope that this video also enlightens you and shows you that no matter where you come from, no matter what you're dealing with, you can persevere and you can find your light within that. For me, acne was my biggest burden and it has turned out to be my biggest blessing. And it's brought me to you. Like, it's brought me to this amazing community where I can be myself and I can hopefully help other people. Because if I couldn't help other people because of what I've been through, all of my suffering would have been for waste. And as I come to terms with that about acne, it's making me realize like I need to deal with other things such as mental health issues, abuse issues, sexuality issues, gender issues, societal issues, all of these issues, I need some tissues. But yeah, it's, it's, it's very interesting and I'm very glad to have you here and I hope that you love this video as much as I love you. So happy Valentine's Day. I'll be your date. Let's go party. We should have like a Snapchat live of just us eating ice cream together on Valentine's Day. It'll be great. Um, anyways, I love you guys. Thank you. And I can't wait to see what you have to say as well. Remember that you are always bea beautiful, and I will see you all in the next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.